Hey guys, and lady guys, my name is Otkin, since this is our 300th episode I have something special for you. Welcome to Mystery Cases, choose your case from number 1 to number 3, I give you a second to choose. Okay, if you choose number 1, you won. Ah oh, would you look at that, you just got a like, for free. Yes for free you better use it right now. Case number 2 has, subscribe in it. Congratulations, you said wisely, that's about it, case 3 is empty, now enjoy the video. Alright, do your worst. I don't know why, people post do your worst on this sub, and when you look at their pics, it's evident God already did. You are the reason why electricians always install dimmer switches in bedrooms. Resting English peasant face. Looking at this picture I already know what you smell like. If your eyes were any further apart they'd be a backup camera. You say stuff like flower power. You look like you're about to get in trouble for hanging out inside when there are potatoes and wheat to harvest. Do you use the candles to cast spells pertaining to the earthly smell in your apartment or to delay the rent collection? You look low-key traumatized and completely bland at the same time. Did you just drop off a piece of chocolate cake for Peter Parker? You can fit every planet in our solar system between those eyes. You seem like someone who loves doing theater, but it's terrible at acting. Roast us. Huh, I never knew Shaggy had a lesbian aunt. Nice family pic. Those double decker gums. Gum and gummer. You look like you yell no homo every time you make love to each other. You guys look like you take turns eating con the long way. One of you can't go outside, because of the sun, the other can't go outside, because of Megan's law. The grime at the bottom of the gene pool. My last two brain cells at the end of the work week. The last thing a sock sees, before it gets used and thrown under the bed. Your tiny teeth scare me. Everyone here knows which one is the bottom. You've dated for years, punched each other's v-card, hope to marry, and are obviously related. 21, mechanical engineering student, ex-gym rat, and never had a GF, destroy me. You're handsome and never had a girlfriend. That's a long way of saying you're insufferable to the opposite gender. Your post from 2044, 41, mechanical engineering student, ex-gym rat, and never had a GF, destroy me. Got to admire the pragmatism of a good engineer. Here we see the perfect example of one with his own built-in birth control. It's called his personality. Leering at the women doing pilots classes doesn't count as being a gym rat. Looks like this isn't the first group of guys you've told to destroy you. Never had a boyfriend is what I think you meant. You look like the guy that all the moms warn their daughters about. Ex gym rat cause he got banged for taking pictures of dudes changing in the locker room. So you couldn't commit to the gym, you couldn't commit to a girl, you gonna fail your commitment at engineering too? Ex gym rat, you know Pokemon and gyms don't count, right? If this man goes to jail with those lips, he's gonna be very popular. Never had a girlfriend ha, huh? maybe once he graduates he can build himself one. Taking my advanced studies, and working three jobs, give me a reason to cry. Desperate soul. Just saw your profile, I wish I didn't. Being a disappointment to your father, doesn't count as a job. I can see you have six limbs, I'm just wondering, if you have kept the seventh one hidden. You look like you handle three without breaking a sweat. Damn Japan's loneliness epidemic is way more serious than I thought. 29, need a good roasting. I hope you're storing a great personality, in that five head. Does your hairline still practice social distancing? You make the most basic look exotic. Shouldn't expect much from the love child of Helen Hunt and Mr. Margu. Whoever gave you that ring must have a thing for Miss Piggy. Okay in picture number one, that's the girl that I select on Tinder. Picture number two is the girl who shows up on the first date. If live laugh love was a person, this would be it. You look like the girl next door type. The type that makes you want to move. I love your hair. The color is nice, and it looks really healthy. You'd be really pretty, if you had a different face. You look British. Does your cult know you are using the internet? Kept intentionally losing her retainer, because she thought her orthodontist had a crush on her. 
For insurance purposes it may pay to drop down to the local police station, lodge a theft report regarding your upper lip. If you have a wedding ring on your finger, then there's hope for everyone. 20. Massive nerd, do your worst. You could have just stopped at massive. I bet you sit on the toilet backwards, so you can use the tank as a lunch table. Oh boy, you sure you wanna do this? Bro really got chocolate on his lip in the second photo. Jesus Christ dude. I tried to think of the most harmless thing. Something I loved from my childhood. Something that could never ever possibly destroy us. Mr. Stay Puffed. I'd sugarcoat my comment, but you'd probably eat that too. 20 years old, but with your diabetes and probable heart issue, you have reached your midlife crisis. His name is Robert Paulson. Whatever you're doing ain't working. Shouldn't you be orbiting Jupiter? Hold the door. Too easy dude, too easy. Life has already dealt you a pretty bad hand, I'm not gonna pile on. As someone who has been called Chris Griffin and hated it, man, I gotta pass the torch to you. Now he does look like a nice guy though. Probably fun to hang out with. 19. My family is forcing me to move back home. They call you Dodger Dog. You look like you start a lot of sentences with, if you can't handle me at my. Your breath probably smells like ding dong. Your family is forcing you back in, so your father can finish what he started with you on that last picture. Get a life, stop being a drama queen. Can you hold the camera like a normal person? I can't even tell how ugly you are. It looks like someone had just started erasing your eyebrows, but they got distracted and didn't finish. I'm 5 feet 5 inches 41 years old. Haven't been on a date since 2018. I'm 46 and you look old enough to be my dad. Did you mean you're 55 and 4 feet 1 inch? 41. You'll never live to be as old as you look. Bro's been 41 since 1997. You don't have to lie about your age to get roasted. I've no idea what country you are in, but here in Scotland you see 40 guys that look just like you queuing outside the methadone clinic each morning. Dude, I'm so sorry. Walter White if he didn't break bad and just got a job as a manager at Walmart. Because your last date ended with a missing person report and a suspect drawing of your face? Jesse, we need to cook. I love it when barbers give homeless people makeovers. Is this one of those posts? Just turned 30, let's go again. Further proof that not all crazy cat ladies have to be old. You're only 30, but you still get menopause. I bet she smells like cat litter and dollar store perfume. You're still a disappointment to your parents, though they did give up on you a long time ago, just as you've clearly given up on yourself. Didn't smile in 4 photos, so I know you got jacked up teeth. Professor Snape would like to have a word with you. You look like you would defend the ending to how I met your mother. No wingman would take this for the team. At least the nose ring means you can tie her to a fence and leave. Hair changes color like a mood ring, to let you know what flavor of crazy you are dealing with that day. I haven't left the house in 12 days, I bet you won't be able make me feel any worse. Testosterone and estrogen battling so hard. You look like late stage Michael Jackson. You look like vegan Dracula, if he was gay. You're doing the right thing. Stay home. We are getting another prequel. Buffalo Bill, the blunder years. Your skin tone is toothpaste. Pretty sure you ended up with the jock at the end of the breakfast club. My mom was wondering who your barber was. She really likes that luck for herself. My sister, 18. Keep smiling girl, you've got decades of disappointment ahead of you. When you get kicked out of your sorority cause your professor got you pregnant, just remember, you heard it here first. Looks like the next star of Quiet On Set. If you ever went missing your search party would turn into an actual party with music and pizza after a few hours. Why do I feel like she picks her nose and eats it? Jesus is watching everything. Picture screams on my way to Starbucks. Her hands look like those monsters in Elden Ring. You must be the ugly one, if you have to post your sister for likes. All these comments, and no one has mentioned your lazy eye. You got the worst case of Vacha for ya I've seen in a while. 
One eye looking at ya. One eye looking for ya. I'm ready. Your crying pillow in the background says you're not really ready. Which of your personalities has big dreams? Neck up says anime cosplayer. Neck down says never going to be an anime cosplayer. You're not fooling anyone that you have big lips by just coloring more lipstick on your face. I can see the eternal, unrelenting darkness in your eyes. It's an abyssal absence of life that haunts my inner core. Plus, your hair is dry. You look like you put your makeup on with a spackle spreader. That is the worst hair color to choose for your face. You have the same hair color and skin tone as my great grandmother. Thanks for watching, you grass eating animals. See you soon. Bye.